Now, listen, you guys, it seems like Joe Biden is out there clocking the tea at Pacific. Yeah, I'm talking about the Transformers record label. And uh, we're also going to be talking about this entire situation with Halle Bailey and DDG, as well as Jetavia seemingly clapping back at Saucy Santana. Jonathan Majors, I do not know what kind of drama they are now doing there at Joseph Lee's, um, you know, Hollywood Reject Awards. Now, these are some of the things that we are going to be talking about in this video hello tea lovers and welcome to the tea blog i trust you guys are doing well and i trust you are doing great personally i am doing great you guys i am doing extremely amazing and uh without further ado let us dive straight into today's tea so first of all i think let's talk about jonathan majors i think we'll finish with the joe Biden thing because it's a lot to unpack so yeah first of all jonathan majors there is a video that is actually circulating on the internet which was taken at the Hollywood Reject Awards. Now, for those of you who do not know what that is, those are the awards that Messi Lee has, um, you know, is out there organizing. So what he basically does is he gathers together all the rejects of Hollywood and, um, you know, he gives them awards. You On that, um, you know, award thing, you'll find people like Tiffany Haddish. Like everybody was pretty much been, um, you know, banished from Hollywood. Those are the people that that grace <laughs> Those are the people that grace his awards, including also those that um you know he has tea on, like the likes of the Transformer. So basically, if Messi Lee has got tea on you, you have to go to the awards too. Basically, if Hollywood has banished you, of course you have to go to the awards. So those are the kind of people that he has for his shows. So yeah, Jonathan Majors was given an award. I don't know what the award was titled. You know, the awards have these silly names and things like that. He calls them the Hollywood impact awards and personally i think it's the hollywood um you know reject awards like or maybe hollywood banished hollywood people awards whatever you want to call them so yeah after receiving that award jonathan majors was bawling when i told you that he was crying his eyes out professing his love to megan good okay it was just like when i watched that video i'll try and insert a clip hopefully i will not get copyrighted but I don't know. I think I'm damaged because I really just found that entire thing funny. I, I just couldn't take it seriously, honestly. Um, and I think since the day, the Coretta day, the day that he was out there saying that Megan is his Coretta, I've struggled to take the man seriously. And at this point, I'm just like, Marvel, won't you give this man his job back? Okay. How many more to be movies like this do we have to see before, um, you know, you give him back his job? I, I don't know, you guys. There's something absolutely wrong with me. <laughs> I guess I'm not a romantic person or what. Or maybe I'm too poor to understand this. But I was just like, instead of... <laughs> instead of being emotional about it i it was just hilarious to me but anyway i will try it and say that hopefully um i will be able to do so um let me know you guys in the comment section what you think about J jonathan measures and uh of course his performance at the hollywood reject awards okay they are being uh, shown on um that network that hosts betters yes i love you i love you beyond all limit with all my strength, with all my heart, I love you. I was supposed to be this tough and strong when you done carried me so, 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 so many nights. I love you. Through the fire. Um, the next thing that we are going to be talking about we're gonna talk about jetavia now earlier on i did a video and i was telling you ab about santana throwing some shade uh towards jetavia's way it seems like jt has decided to clap back in a little tiktok video and she's basically singing along to one of her songs and she's like oh wow you're mad because i finally made it you really didn't think that i would make it but look at me now so to me that really was giving um you know clip back and um shout out to Damaka's mom for pointing that out i had to go and check it out and i was like mm, that really does sound like you know she's clapping back and i hope it doesn't go deeper than this because a lot could be exposed eh but uh that being said it's not like i'm complaining eh <laughs> if they want to expose each other we'll be here to talk about it and report on it because really i do not have any dog in that fight i'll just be watching from the sidelines i eh? like basically refereeing oh my god 
God, stop you. Go ahead. You expose that. You expose that. So let me know in the comment section what you think about JT and Carisha seemingly not seeing eye to eye and seemingly shading each other subliminally. Now, the next thing that we are going to be talking about we're gonna talk about Halle bailey okay there is a blind item that is actually circulating and uh, it is alleging that well Halle bailey might have decided to walk away from her union with um you know ddg of course it's not a marriage but whatever union that they have the partnership i don't know what you want to call it uh but there were rumors that were circulating that ddg is basically cheating on Halle, and some were accusing him of cheating with ruby rose who happens to be his ex and uh so now people are saying that Halle has moved out and um has realized that well the man is always going to be cheating and uh so according to this blind item it actually says the princess singer actress has finally figured out her significant other is going to keep on cheating and she has moved out and uh, that's Halle bailey and ddg now this is very sad for me to see because um yeah Halle is just a sweetheart and it's it said I, I i hope it's not true i'm just hoping this blind item it, it does not come to pass i i hope it's not true because i she's too precious man i love her i love the girl and ddg we're watching you and you ruby rose we're watching both of you and ddg because i don't understand the point okay i don't understand the point of you moving away from a uh, ruby you know getting a baby by Halle and then going back to ruby again and now it takes me back to when ruby was out there bragging that ddg also wanted a baby with her but she refused to give him um the baby i guess before marriage and things like that and that's a very sensitive conversation and a lot of times people are like well some people don't want to get married and things like that and i'm just like i hope that's the case for Halle I hope um for her the case was not well she was like well I will have a baby and then we'll get married later um I hope it's, it wasn't a case of compromise for Halle that's my prayer for her but anyway let me know in the comment section what you think about that now the next thing that we are going to be talking about we're going to talk about Quayle Ray I don't know who amongst you is out there um you know frustrating um Quayle Ray on Twitter because she came through with a couple of tweets and she was like she's going away from twitter she's deactivating and things like that she said i tweet and exit out of this app because child it is just too messy in here like non-stop negative ish on twitter be safe on here and then she said twitter is literally the dark web kind of scary i agree with you koi and uh, twitter is certainly different um you know from tiktok where you basically got your career so i understand your frustrations with people on twitter okay no shade um anyway the next thing that we are going to be talking about we're going to talk about the transformer apparently she wants a faha for a pregnancy and things like that and i'm um, just like for somebody who's pregnant and is about to get into labor into like i was getting towards delivery she sure stays on live too much don't you guys think that this is the time where you like take away from social media focus on your pregnancy focus on your family because i'm just like every two minutes she's out there doing a live video and talking about things that are irrelevant like like how is that our business that you want to get a far like is that necessary and and most times that's when she sleeps up and says all this dumb stuff like that hospitalization thing that she did the other day, which could have been avoided if you had managed to stay out of the way. But anyway, let me know in the comment section what you think about that. I think I will insert that at the end of this video. Now, moving on to the next thing that we are going to be talking about, Joe Biden. It seems like Joe Biden is out there clocking the tea and everything that is happening um, you know, at the Transformers record level. Now, you do know that there has been a lot of movement there with people being forced to step down or allegedly being fired and other people being promoted and being put in these um, you know, different positions. So, so it seems like well there really was a little bit of struggle in that record label one of joe biden's co-hosts did point out that well they spent too much money on social media and things like that and uh from what i gathered 
from this discussion you guys things are really not looking good for pacific and there's probably going to be a lot of changes even for artists um you know from salaries to maybe budgets and things like that and to the flexibility really even of their contracts because joe really uh, broke it down so i think it's best for me to insert um you know what joe Biden had to say and then if necessary i will be going in there and also um you know giving my two senses <laughs> about what's happening so let's get into it okay it's a really 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 big deal we talking about 20 plus years of tenure uh we talking about her and craig Great i don't know what this means for mike i'll see him at the, the the fantasy football draft but when labels change entire regimes a lot is up in the air i took it upon myself to look up the atlantic records music roster mm -hmm. to see how they could have gotten themselves in this jam mm -hmm. and i see a boogie with the hoodie okay that's a good one great mm -hmm. uh bruno mars okay great as well great. Already two people that I don't think drop enough if they, this is your A list. A boogie drops a lot. Well, I'm about to say A boogie drops a lot. And and he not Bruno. I'm talking about just A boogie. A boogie's been dropping a lot and he actually kicked up in the uh how often he's been dropping from I love A Boogie last couple projects. I love Hybrid. Mm -hmm. A boogie dropping and A boogie dropping with the support from the label looks oh, different. Valid, mm -hmm. valid. Totally different. Uh Bruno Mars, we already know about his cadence. Cardi B, no comment, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> Listen to all these men agreeing to no comment when it comes to the Transformer. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely hilarious. Imagine, they all know that the real reason why that ship is actually sinking is they forked out a lot of money to fund the Transformers' non-existent career. And the fact that they're all, you know, just glazing over that entire um, you know, situation is very funny to me. It's how they all, you know, agreed. They all came in agreement that, well, there's no comment on that. Well, we all know. Okay, <laughs> that she got that sink that ship sinking. Okay, anyway, let's listen to what else they had to say about that. Alex Metric, whoever that is, I'm not sure. Charlie Puth, I'm not. He's I've heard Charlie, of him. He's, a, he's a big star. He's big, but he doesn't drop enough either. Ed Sharon, yeah, he he he's on a horse. Minute. He's on a horse waving goodbye to people. Yeah, mm. uh, Sia, mm -hmm. she hasn't dropped in a while. Too much. She, she hasn't much. dropped in a while. Abba, mm -hmm. Abso Facto, CeeLo Green. Coldplay, mm. Death mm. Cab for Cutie, mm. Flow Rider, mm. Big Mel still in the game, uh, <laughs> Halla Storm, Janelle Monae, okay, that's, James that's Young, Kaylani, Kevin Gates, okay. Lil Uzi, Lizzo. That's a nice roster. Yeah. They said they haven't broken an artist in five years. I could believe that. They said they haven't broken any artist in five years. This roster sound like uh, you're gonna land on Boardwalk or Park Place soon. Yeah, and be and be and be in a jam. Yeah, and they seem like they've wasted as, a lot of money a, over as there as a too. label. Yeah, the label. Yes. Yeah. yeah, they've wasted a lot of money over there trying to build up. Um, and a lot of these people, social you had media to pay. Mm -hmm. Lil Uzi Vert had that little uh, kerfuffle with with his label. All we know is it was rectified. Somebody paid. That's my man. <laughs> Yo, this nigga. <laughs> Yo, what is up with this? <laughs> oh, <he's not> <laughs> he is everywhere. That's my man. Uh, what was I saying? Lil Uzi Vert had that little Kaylani. I'm not certain how often that Cardi B one. She just dropped. So okay, Kaylani. So and she on tour. So. And Uzi sells records when he drops. I could see okay. how if this is what you come into the Monopoly <laughs> game with, somebody at some point is going to have something to say about the returns. Yeah. My only thing is, uh, uh, Elliot Grange, I don't feel like Trippy Red, Ice Spice, and uh, Takashi69, uh, I don't think that demands enough for you to be able to sell 10K. He sold 10K uh, records or whatever the name of that mm -hmm. shit. Still, still has it and is still a pre president over here. I don't think that the success of Trippy Red, Ice Spice, and Takashi warrant that. I that don't. Could and you fired. I could have potentially been at your christening. But nepotism, and I am a fan of nepotism. What are you supposed to do for your kid? 
And this is the interesting part that I was talking about the other day uh, when I was like, well, the Transformer and Paprika Spice are going to be competing for the same budget. So Elliot is coming through, um, you know, with his own artist that he came with. And now I'm beginning to think that, well, Paprika Spice coming for the Transformer might have been strategic. Um, you know, if they were going to be buddy-buddy, maybe Elliot was not going to be able to prove that, listen, these are the artists that I came with to your sinking ship and now they are doing well. So so this entire replacement thing, I think that theory actually does make sense because, well, the Transformers handlers, allegedly, you know, the people who came up with, with Project, um, you know, Transformer, listed this tripper turned influencer, Instagram influencer into a female rapper. Those people have left the label. And now there is Elliot who's coming in and Elliot's product is Ice Spice. So obviously there's going to be conflict of interest. Obviously now already the Joe Buttons are out there criticizing him, saying that, listen, we don't think that the portfolio of the artists that you have, um, you know, is strong enough for you to be, you know, getting this position or to be selling, um, you know, this label that you have. So he is going to go out of his way to prove that my artists are actually successful. So that is definitely going to be interesting. And if anything, he will make sure that, um, you know, he will prove to everybody that the people who were running the ship before sank it. And one way to do it is to basically prove that, well, the artists that they had are not selling. OK, so, yeah, let's listen to what these guys had to say again. I'm with you. And, yo, it, it almost came full circle. We had Stout up here. And Stout talking Coming about, soon Subscribe to that Patreon Oh damn my bad It's alright but, but we had Stout up here And Stout was talking about How people are sitting In these corner offices And they are making A ton of money mm. But without new product So you Getting paid off A Public Legacy Enemy shit. album yes, and But y'all not putting No new revenue Into the into the stream So What we paying y'all for So listen I, I, I went to pull up This about the earnings Warner Music made a net Of 160 million dollars now this would be considered piss poor compared to rival company Universal Music, who made $3.2 billion with a B God damn. in just quarter three alone. Jeez. Recorded music revenue was down 2.4% for Warner Music, despite two of their premier acts, Meg Thee Stallion and Cardi B dropping music all year. Now, of course, Cardi, you know, singles. Hmm. Um, Warner now has a cash balance of $607 million with a debt of $3.978 billion. God Ooh. damn. So from Shout out to uh, Keith for breaking yeah, it. Yeah, you got to go. Now, from a business, yeah. from a business standpoint, yeah. we all know this just from watching stock markets. The second that company's get in the trouble, the first thing we're going to cut is salaries. Yep. Mm -hmm. And some of and these big, the big salaries that we can't justify no more, got they go. got to go. Mm -hmm. Got to go. We've justified as long as we can. Y'all have to go yeah. at that point. That much debt is outrageous. That That's is crazy. crazy. Well, for those of you who are like, oh my God, independent artist Bongo 2. And for those of you who buy into the Transformer out here, bringing, bringing about money and oh my God, my record label this, I make this much amount of money, this and that. Well, clearly whatever amount of money that she's making, especially from music directly, mm -hmm. is not enough to keep their record label afloat because you can tell that the gearing ratio is not making any sense from what these guys are reporting. Anyway, let's hear what else they had to say. Let's see. That's crazy. Yeah, but you know what? Know on, the, on the ground level, like without being invited to these back rooms, I said ages ago, we not even getting album releases uh, to the standard mm -hmm. that we once did. Mm -hmm. That means something. When every week come and it's like, up, oh, nothing, up, oh, nothing. When you artist is dropping once every however many years, even when it came to Cardi, I was like, hey, Cardi may be able to do what she wants because she's well off. Somebody at that label's job is reliant on her coming out. For right. Sure. Like, so think about this, just again, from an economic standpoint, that um, these artists are now signing better deals. Mm -hmm. So somebody like Cardi, somebody like Uzi, these are signing deals that artists are more friendly. favorable yeah. for the artists. So the label ain't even generating the margins that it used to generate. True. So if you don't have the other subsequent acts that are dropping that are going to keep the lights on this headed for disaster but well, that's the problem too because these labels aren't even trying to develop new acts right mm -hmm. they've, they've abandoned Give people that. a time mm -hmm. so yeah. now they just all right we're just gonna deal we're gonna try to cheat our way by signing on some social media if i'm in that much debt if i'm in that much debt the luxury of breaking a new act is gone it's over mm -hmm. but that's i can't what, invest right. in it's, nothing I, else. and then y'all think that nobody is noticing y'all not really getting no new mm -hmm. mainstream acts right yeah mm -hmm. true they milking Rarely. this 
it out of the ones that they have to whereas we applauded LL for having 20 and 25 years in the game. These labels today are going to make sure that they five and six people that they're relying on mm -hmm. have about 20 years in the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Y'all are keeping the lights on at this point. Literally. I'm surprised by that list being so small. You know what I'm saying? Like, aren't just for like just not knowing but like don't they wouldn't they have like an uh like an artist of like a bunch of artists that are like on the shelves that they can kind of go into that they, that, that, was the that was the current roster had, i don't they, think that's they had okay. abba on there yeah no i know <laughs> but abba's like an, a legacy app yeah like when's the, abba making is, is abba making new music i, I don't know maybe. i don't think so i don't think so but maybe. but the problem with that also is it we don't have the money to put into developing nobody else new either. We are damn But that's why I'm asking about shelved artists that might actually have some development already there and they've just been kind of waiting for their chance, but you know. You're not getting a chance if they, I'm in that much debt. Yeah, but so now we got budget to, to you're and not getting the budget. All of the new